everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing how you can connect your code design project to a domain name. A domain name is a crucial aspect of your business as it uniquely identifies you and helps you stand out. It's important to connect your project to a custom domain and showcase it to the world. So let's get started. To publish or connect your project to a domain, you need to click on the publish icon in the top right corner. You'll see two options, publish and export. Export allows you to export your project as HTML and CSS code, which you can host on your own service. However, if you prefer to host it on our service with added security, safety, and speed, publishing is the way to go. You have the choice to add a subdomain, such as hosting it on a code design app subdomain, or you can connect it with a custom domain. If you want to connect it with your own domain, you need to click on the Add Domain button. This will take you to a page where you can enter your domain name. Enter the domain you own, leaving out the www. Then click on the Connect Domain button. This will provide you with two values, DNS records of type A and TXT, which you need to paste into your domain registrar. Domain registrars are places where you previously purchased a domain, such as popular ones like Syncrode, GoDaddy, and Namecheap. The steps may vary slightly, but we'll guide you through the process. First, go to your domain registrar. In our case, we'll use GoDaddy. In the domain dashboard, find the DNS option and click on it. Look for the Add New Record button. Copy the first value and choose type A. If you are connecting to the base domain without WBU or any subdomains, enter it for name. Paste the IP address provided by code design in the value field. Leave the other values as the default and click Save. Next, add the TXT record. Copy the value and choose TXT for name. Paste the value and save. You have successfully added both records. Now wait for the validation, which usually takes a few seconds to a few minutes. Once validated, go back to the code design tab, click on publish and deploy the current version to go live. If you visit your website, you will see that it has been successfully updated. However, if you encounter any issues, here are a few troubleshooting steps. First, check for any duplicate or conflicting error codes in your registrar. Delete any duplicates or conflicting codes. Sometimes on GoDaddy, you may see an error code with the label parked if you recently purchased the domain. Make sure to delete it if you see it. If you experience issues with the www version of your website, you can add a C name record with the value and data as shown here to redirect users to the main site. Keep in mind that there might be a propagation delay when changing DNS, lasting from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on your region. You can use a site like dnschecker.org to check if the DNS has been updated in your region. If you've followed these steps and the issue persists, please reach out to the code design support team for further assistance in connecting your domain. We'll be more than happy to help you.